Welcome to this 40-minute cardio hit and glute max calorie crush. This is how the workout is going to go. You're going to have seven circuits that you're going to work through. Each circuit, you have five exercises. Each exercise is one minute. Your cardio interval, you're going to have 50 seconds of hard pushing, 10 seconds of recovery. We are going to focus on our Boutte glute today. Listen to me. Preview this video before doing it, if it's your very first time. Repeat. Preview this video before doing it, if this is your first time. I move fast. So you want to do a quick preview so you know what's going on. Equipment needed, a stability ball, heavy weight, light hand weight, your mat, and a glider or a planter. Or if you have a skateboard or if you have a towel, I want something that will basically glide easily. If you have any knee issues, we're going to be doing kneeling lunges. That's why you need to preview this workout. You're going to have foam. So you're going to protect your knee joint with a nice soft surface. We move fast. We work hard. We burn major calories. We strength train. And I work your body in all different directions, people. This is the fourth video in the Fit and Firm series. Look below for my other workouts in this Fit to Infirm series. They're all 100% different. Begin. Right here, we're gonna warm it up in circuit one. How's everybody doing today? My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Side to side, let's just warm it up. Come on, interval one is all about warming it up. You can't get into some heavy workout <laughs> with your body super cold. So reach your arms up and back right here. We're gonna push hard today. Great workout. Some huffing and puffing's gonna go on today. <laughs> That's for sure. Come on, arms. Now, always modify when you need to. You can come right here, low impact. You don't have to take any exercise high. Hook. Right here. Four, three, jog. Here we go. Give me that jog. Arms up and down. Want to get those arms involved. Each exercise is one minute. Simple as that. Go at your own pace. If you do not like my timing in a workout, go slower. If I move too slow, go faster. I want to warm it up. Come on, press those arms. Now, level one, beginner, you march. You don't have to jog. Woo! After filming this whole series, I am so sore. So I know you're going to probably be sore. Four, three, tap it side to side. Tap. Arms right at 12 o'clock. Want to get some lateral movement in. Come on, tap. You notice in this Fit and Firm series, really taking our cardiovascular endurance and our strength to that next level, people. You are ready to push. Come on. Hup. Four, three, kick your heel to your butt. I don't care which way. Want to get those hamstrings warm. Come on, push. Last two exercises in circuit one. 
The circuit one is always about that warm up. Right here, arms. Pressing down. Woo, hope everyone's doing good today. Not talking much, because I know a lot of work ahead. Good work, happy work, strong work, but a lot of work. So you gotta breathe, you gotta remember to modify when you need to, and always for focus on that good form. I always want quality and accuracy over trying to push and be sloppy. Never want you to be sloppy. I want to keep you injury prevention free. Jack, right here. Come on. Now let's talk. We have 50 seconds. You get a 30 second recovery between each interval. Now, our next interval is gonna be all about the legs and glutes. You're gonna want a set of eight, 10 pound weights and then one heavy, heavy weight. My heavy weight, I'll be using a 20 pound. I'm gonna be grabbing eight pound weights. For circuit two, it is dumbbells working lower body. March right to left, breathe, big inhale, and a nice exhale. One more time, big breath in, and a nice exhale. Go grab your eight or 10 pound weight, and I'll meet you for circuit eight or 10 pound weights. Let's come up, palms in, sumo squat. Here we go, one minute. You, in each exercise, we're in circuit two, right here. Now listen to me, stay low, stay low. Now, our next exercise, if you have any knee issues, you're gonna grab a knee, a mat, or a knee pad, because we're gonna do kneeling lunges with no weight. Stay low, sumo squat. Barely lift your feet. Come on, let's get that sumo squat going. Come on, stay low, stay low, come on. Four, three, two, one. Put the weight off to the side. If you need to support that knee, if you need to, you're gonna need, they're kneeling lunges, looks like this. Halfway down, halfway down. So, you're picking up that back knee about four to six inches. So, Front hand, right here. So you can lift, lower, lift, lower. Woo, kneeling lunges, burn it. All about the glute today. Yeah, you want extra weight? You keep going, you want extra weight? Put it in your hand. I don't need extra weight, I'm good. So, it's your back knee that touches the pad and lift. And come up and switch sides. Now, kneeling lunge. Come up with that back knee. Just four to six inches. Up, lift, lower. Lift, lower. Now, if you need a break, you're gonna just take a break and come back when you need to. Up. Next exercise, plie squats. We'll be using our eight pounds again. So you come up a little, right back down. You notice I'm taking a lot of breaks myself. It's not about how fast you go. It's about the accuracy and the quality. Go faster. If you can, front knee, 
ankle alignment. Kneeling front lunges. Take that away. Burning pretty good. Grab your eight pounds. Plie squat. Come on. Let's work it. These circuits move fast. I always recommend you preview the workout the very first time. Down. So you know how fast we move. You know what's involved. You've gone through it. So when you begin the workout, you can move quickly right along with me. Come on. Down. Up. Now listen to me. Our next exercise is going to be a suitcase squat. Stay with your weight or go grab a super duper heavy weight. All right, let's go. Quickly, people. Quickly, I'm grabbing my 120 pound weight. Get into squat stance. Imagine you're picking up the suitcase and coming up right here. Pick up that suitcase, handle, drop it down. Good form. Hinge from your hip. Right hand can be right on that right hip. Come on. Let's go. Pick up that suitcase. Pick it up, put it in your other hand. Let's go. So you're in squat, hip width position with your legs. Hinging from your hips. Drop lightly. Don't just bam, take it down. Control it up and control it down. Five more seconds. We get 30 seconds recovery. One more. Put that weight up. Go ahead, give me a little shuffle. Now, I want small sips of water, getting ready to go into circuit three. I want a light pair of hand weights. One, two, or three. Okay. So one, two, or three. In weights, we're gonna do cardio with light weights. So grab your small sip of water. Meet me back at your light circuit weight. three. Are you ready? Let's jack. Right here. Now, arm, shoulder height. Now, let's press it up. I have two pounds in my hand. Using light weight to really rev up that cardio. Come on, push. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of recovery. Feel free to put a three or a five pound weight in your hand if you want to push more. I'm good where I'm at. Four, three, go ahead, tap, side tap. Right here. We're gonna reach over. Right arm reaches over, go. Up, right arm. Now let's just switch it. Right here. Right, then left. At that diagonal. Front diagonal. Give me a little hop as you pass through the center. Hop, hop. Remember, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds recovery. That's where that cardio hit comes in. Woo! Come on, push it. Five seconds, guys. Hop through the center. Hop through the center. Three. March, march, march. Heart rate high. Five seconds. Woo! We're gonna shuffle for four. Jack for two. Let's shuffle. Four, three, two, one. Two jack. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. 
shuffle and two jacks. Come on. Come on, use those weights. Get low on that shuffle. Work those glutes. Come on. Ten seconds. Come on, push last five. One more. Woo! March. Squat, jump. You're gonna squat and jump in four, three, 50 seconds. Squat, jump. Come on. You only have one more exercise after this. And we're done with circuit three. We're gonna move on. Come on. 50 seconds of work. You can do it. Really get both feet off the ground. The last 15 seconds. Come on. Last five seconds. March. Last exercise. You're gonna cross, palms facing each other. Give me heels. If you're gonna speed up the heels, you're gonna cross those arms. Four, three, this is it. Let's go. Okay, let's get the legs right here. Now let's punch. Let's just punch. That cross is gonna be too much on that shoulder joint. Give me those heels. Now punch up. Keep the heels, punch up. Punch center. Punch up. Punch center, this is it, eight. Five, four, three, march. Small sip to water. Put your weights up. March. 30 second recovery, step touch. Let's talk about circuit four. You're gonna grab your glider. You're gonna grab, keep moving. Your planter. Weights are an option if you're used to using your glider with weights. Great option. Remember I said today is all about the glutes? We're gonna max out that glute burn. Go grab a small sip of water. Meet me back with your towel. Glider, circuit four. four. You're gonna have your glider, planter, towel. We're gonna go back and up with that right leg. I choose no weight. Grab a weight if you want. Now, if you have no weight, touch the ground. Come back up, back to up to, just like that. All about the glutes. Using the glider to get our glutes burn in today. As you know, it's all about the glutes, people. Of course, you work your quads, hamstrings, calves, abductors, adductors, but I'm doing an emphasis on our butt cheeks. Gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, gluteus minimus. Right here, each exercise is one minute. Come on, keep that knee ankle alignment. Do not let your knee go over the front of your shoelaces. Come up, switch. Get your bearings, knee ankle alignment. And when you can, test it, go back and up. A lot of dynamic core stability working. Woo. You only have three more exercises using this glider. What do I always tell you? Challenge your body. Never stay steady. Always do something different. Your workout needs to be switched up every four to six weeks. Whether it's different cardio, 
different formats of strength training. Be sure to switch it up, people. Don't keep doing the same thing over and over. You're not gonna see results. You're not gonna see gains. One more, wherever you're at. Are you ready? Other side, take it to the side. Now we're gonna go outside and back. Outside, so you can see me. And back. Outside. And back. Now, if you have the actual gliders, you may be doing the same exercise, but at a different pace. Outside, and then curtsy lunge back. Woo! A lot of dynamic core stabilization right here. Go at your own pace. Make sure you have that good form. That's why I don't have hand weights. Because if I added heavy weights, my form would go. If you can have the heavy weights, that's a great way to amp it up. Are you ready? Switch it, other side. Woo! Yeah, it's like a lot of balance, proprioception and coordination. Let the arms naturally go how they're gonna go to help counterbalance. Out to the side. You only have one more exercise. Woo! And then we're moving on to cardio. Circuit five of seven after this. You are killing it. We move fast in this fit and firm series. So I really want to always keep that cardiovascular endurance up. So I always like to make sure you preview the video, have the equipment by your side. Now, we're going to plank. Forearm, you're going to put it under one leg. Slide it up and back center. Slide it by your hand, back center. So you're in a plank. Slide. Come on, 30 seconds each side. Your pace, your modification. Now to modify lower, don't take your leg up so high. Other leg switch. I have great range of motion in my hips. So you just went and take it to your hands and you would go slower. Shoulders back down. Come on. Five more seconds and we're done with this circuit. One more. All right, take it up. Make sure you put your gliders away. Step touch. Let's talk about circuit five. You have 15 seconds, small sips of water. No equipment is necessary. Go grab your small sip of water. Make sure you have a clear space. And I will see you for cross circuit jack, five. circuit five. So let's get the legs going here. All about the cardio, circuit five. Cross jacks. Now let's add those arms. Come on, straight up simple cardio. Five exercises to push. Woo! 50 seconds of work. 10 seconds active recovery. Push. Cross jack. March. Woo! Amp it down and go much slower if you need to. We're gonna ski back. Let's ski. Let's get the legs right here. Good. Now arms push up and down. 
50 seconds of work. You're in exercise two of five. You can do anything for 50 seconds. Come on, change your body. Challenge your cardiovascular endurance. March. Okay. While you're marching, let me show you. One, two, three. Rock back. Ski three. Rock back. Right leg. Go. One, two, three. Step back. One, two, three. Step back. One, two, three. Step back with that left leg. That left leg does that step. Come on, one, two, three, step back. One, two, three, step back. One, two, three, step back. 10 seconds to work it. Come on, one, two, three. One more. March. Okay, are you ready? Other side. Ski three, step back right, ready, go. One, two, three, step back, right leg. One more exercise to push after this. Come on. Get both feet off the ground. Ten seconds. Push it. Last five seconds. One more. Last time. March. We're gonna jump forward and jump back. And two in place. Jump forward, jump back, jump two in place. Four, three, this is it, let's go. Up, back, two in place. Forward, back, two in place. Feet off the ground when you hop forward and back. Hop, jump in place. Use those arms. Grab the rope, pull. Last 10 seconds. Get both feet off the ground. Grab the rope, pull. Get explosive. March. 30 seconds recovery. Step touch. Shake out those arms. 30 seconds recovery. Listen to me. We're gonna go. Circuit six. You're gonna need a mat. And you're gonna want your stability ball. We are big time, big time, gonna focus on our glutes. So I'm gonna give us one minute recovery because we're gonna take it to the ground for circuit six, circuit seven. Circuit seven is all about the core. You're done with cardio. Thumbs up, people. 20 seconds, march. Deep breath in. And a nice exhale, 15 seconds. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, if you feel your heart rate's gone down, grab a small sip of water, mat, Stability ball, I'll meet you for circuit six. Heart rate is down, I want you to lay down. I want you to put your feet on the mat. All right, we're gonna bridge. We're gonna straight leg up, roll in, out, 
and down. So you lift, roll in, out, and down. Each exercise is one minute. We are really burning the glutes, working hamstrings, getting some back extensor work in right here. Woo! Your timing, your pace. Shoulders mounted away from your ears. Five exercises to run through. Grab your ball, put it in between your legs. Shoulders off the ground, lower your leg, catch. Lower, catch. So a little bit of core work right here. So another way you could do it, catch. Drop and catch, that's another option. You can keep your upper body on the ground if you have some head and neck issues or you can want more core work, take it down. So I think I'm gonna go like this, I'm good, or my hip flexors are getting too involved because I'm tight. Shoulders off the mat. Even when your shoulders are off the mat, there's no tension in your head, neck, or shoulders. So catch the ball. Catch that ball. You gotta give it a little squeeze as you catch it. One more catch. You're gonna put that ball underneath. All right, so what we're gonna do from here, you're gonna have, you're gonna be at a 90 degree angle, knee hip alignment, knee ankle. Your heels are digging in the ball. We're gonna lift and lower. So your heels are digging into the ball, working core dynamic stability because you're on an uneven surface with your feet. So really melt your shoulders away from your ears because your upper body is not doing any work. You should feel the glutes, hamstrings, and calves engage as you press your heels into the ball. Right there. One more. Little break. Right here. All right. We're going to lengthen. Legs out. We're going to bridge. And we're going to lift one leg. And we're going to pump up. Small range of motion. Up. Take a break. Major hamstring glute work. Other leg lifts. Four, three, we have eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put both legs up, lift and lower. Press your calves and your heels into the ball. Lift. Lower, hold it up, hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come sit up, put the ball in between your knees, squeeze in, out. I'm getting adductor work. In, out. If you're sweaty like me, you're gonna hold that ball. So squeeze in and out, pulses. In, 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 in. I wanna get that adductor work. Can I name all the adductors? Adductor mangus, adductor brevis, adductor longus. There's like three or four more. I can't name them all. Wow, you guys are done with circuit six. We're gonna be moving on, circuit seven, to stability ball abs. So we're gonna get right into it since we have our ball. Woo, come on, squeeze that ball. Boom. Yeah, let's go. Four, three, grab your ball. Let's get into circuit seven right now. So we're gonna touch our knee, lift, knee, back. Knee over the crown of your head. Now if I move too fast, 
slow it down. Five minutes of core work using our stability ball. Woo, we get to stretch. Nice control. Shoulders back down. Away from your ears. This is all about the core. Don't take the ball behind the crown of your head. Keep that shoulder joint stability. You don't want to hyperextend at that shoulder joint. One more. All right, let's do Russian twist. One, two, one, two. So you just do two bounces, two bounces on the other side. Oblique work. Exercise two of five. Doesn't it go by so quick? Yeah, it does. Now lift one leg. Lift one leg. Lift that other leg. Lift that other leg. Switch. Switch legs. Quick break here, straight legs. We're gonna go into that roll up, straight arms, reach past your toes. Belly button to the spine, roll up, one vertebra at a time, roll down one vertebra at a time. Reach past your toes to get that little bit of a hamstring stretch. Flex your feet. Nice, slow, and controlled. Right here on the ball, very uneven surface. Let's go. 10 more seconds here. Come on guys, you only have a minute and a half left in your workout. We're gonna cool down and stretch. Okay, let's come back on our knees. Let's do this on our hands. Now, so you don't hurt your wrist joints, go a little bit, fingers down, and lift. It's a little bit easier on that wrist joint than facing your fingers forward. You're gonna have more pressure on that wrist joint. Last 10 seconds. A lot of dynamic stability. I've been saying that a lot in this workout, but it's true. The quicker we work, and all the variations we work our body in. Give me five more seconds. All right, come down. Come on your stomach. Anchor your feet, hands on the side of the ball. Lift, lower. And now I'm gonna get some back work. If you want your hands on the ball, they'll stay there. If not, palms face your outer thighs or they're facing your butt cheeks. And do not go to the beat of the music. Just up and down, people. Last 15 seconds. Now, there's no tension in your head, neck, or shoulders. Working your back extensors. All right, guys, come on down into child pose. Quick stretch, roll that ball in front. We'll do a little stretch with the ball. If you don't have a ball, don't worry. 
Do you do child's pose without your hands on the stability ball? Of course. Now roll that stability ball to one side. Stay in that child's pose. If you don't like the ball, get rid of the ball and do the stretches without the ball. Roll the ball, other side. All right, come up, pick a side. Oh, lean up and over. Quick stretch, guys. Great workout today in this cardio hit and glute max calorie crush. I don't know what to call my videos sometimes, so I, I think I spend the most time trying to come up with a name, not the choreography. Other side. So if you guys have any suggestions for names, always put them in the uh, comment section below. So tell me guys, how many of you are following the Fit and Firm series? I hope you're liking it. Sit on your ball. Chest expansion, interlace your fingers, and lift. Open up through your chest. Woo! Oh, yeah. You should see me. So full of sweat. So full of sweat right now. Feels good, right? We move fast, but this is what I promise you. Lean over to one side. The more after you've done this workout the first time, when you go back to do it the second time, you'll get it. It will be quicker. You'll understand it. And other side. Every time I always do a brand new workout myself, the first time around I may have to press play again, go back, do it again. But usually when I do it the second time around, I'm on it like hot cake because I know the workout. Look over your shoulder. Look over your other shoulder. One more time, look over. And look over that other shoulder. All right, get that ball out of the way. Reach for your foot. Get a nice quad stretch. Work on that balance, dynamic balance at the same time. Always trying to throw balance in there for you guys. Always good, always good. And it's always good to work dynamic core stability too. And other side. Woo! So comment, share. Stop by AngieFitness.tv, AngieFitness.tv, my new website. All my workout videos are organized and categorized and very easy for you to see all the different workouts I have. All right, deep breath in. And a nice exhale. One more time, people. Deep breath in. And exhale. Come here. Come here. Come to me. Okay, you ready? Sweat, yeah? Look at my sweat too. High five. Okay, now give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. One more high five like you're like, oh yeah, I rock it. Are you ready? My name's Angie, Angie Fitness TV. I'll see you for our next crazy workout together.